from that, you little... Don't ever touch those nasty things again. going to be spanked. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Either you do something about it, or I will. Aren't you being a little rough on her? She's just a curious girl. Curious? <laughs> I am sick of her. I am sick of you, and I am sick of living in this slimy mausoleum. Better hurry before the ice melts. You look lovely in black. Just practicing. How could two brothers be so different? got guts. I could throw a rock and hit the mortuary from here. <laughs> Being with you is worth it. As long as you're careful. Another week we won't have to be careful. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Just thinking. <laughs> With him dead. What mortuary shall we use? <laughs> I am sick of the whole mess. I refuse to discuss it. I can't control her. She belongs in a private school away from here. Absolutely not. Oh, it's those filthy spiders. They give me the creeps. She actually loves them. Why not? Have you ever given her any love? Oh, don't you blame me. You've always taken her side. You love that. Her more than you ever loved me. Martha. <sighs> That's not true, and you know it. Oh, don't touch me. You smell of chemicals of death. Now on you stay out of my room.
Walter, I can't take it anymore. I can't wait another week. I want him dead now. I know it won't be long. You're right. I will. I love you, darling. gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Walter. I don't know what I would have done without you. So brothers of four, Juicy cricket. Daddy girl. Nice, Jennifer. Pretty girl. Nice, Jennifer. Good girl. That's my baby. Go on. Daddy girl, Jennifer. That a girl. That's my girl, Jennifer. That's my girl. A 
I'm sorry to disturb you, hon, but the boys will be here soon, and I need your help. Are they eating any better? They certainly are. It's going to be lonely without you. Oh, a week isn't a long time. And I know you can take care of yourself. Why don't you call Linda? Now, I'm sure her mother will let her stay over here while I'm gone. I don't think so. Dad. After all these years, are they still giving you a rough time? They either they just ignore me or they make fun of me. And all because I'm a mortician. Too bad I'm not in a livelier profession. <laughs> oh, Dad. Now, you don't worry about those puns. You're a very attractive young lady. You'll have plenty of friends. I hope you're right. Trust me, Susan. I'll get it. Ah, the livelier member of the Bradley family. Hello. Uh, the prettiest. Well, how are my two biggest fans? Are you too early? No, my father's been waiting for you, but Uncle Walter isn't here. Ah, oh, but there's where you're wrong. Does anyone need a ticket fixed? I caught you. You're on my ten most wanted list. Hello, Uncle Walter. Is this a convention out here? Oh, our next attorney general. <laughs> That's a time for you tour, John. It's going to work, Walter. I'll be right with you, spoiled sport. You know, you're as lovely as your mother was. Remember, Susan, if you need anything when your dad's away, just give a loud whistle. That's my girl. You can't be serious, Walter. You've done an outstanding job. The town's never had a better chief. Well, I appreciate your vote of confidence, Ralph. I'm going to need all the help I can get. Oh, you can count on us. That means you'll be out campaigning most evenings. What about Susan? Susan's used to being alone. Well, I'm sure all of us here will keep an eye on her. Be good. And if you need anything, Uncle Walter will be close by. I'll miss you. Have a good time. Bye.
it's me. Who? Me, Joe Penny. Hi, Joe. You still there? Sure. That's good. What's happening? Not much. What are you up to? Well, nothing, really. Come on, Joe. Okay. You going to any Halloween parties tonight? No. Neither am I. I... Would you... Would you like to come over for a while? I'd like that. Please do. Okay. I'll see you in an hour. Bye-bye. We just want to borrow a little coffin for a little old party we're going to have. No! <coughs> just get out of here. Doesn't she look nice work. tonight, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I bet she got a hot day with old Joe Penny, hasn't uh, she? <laughs> now you look half bad and get yourself Not all fixed all. up, Susan. <laughs> you got an idea? Take Susan along with us, huh? That is a good idea. No. I'll call the police if you don't get out. Hey, hey, hey! Be a party, huh? Yeah. yeah. Hey, just, hey, what you got behind the door? Just stay out of there. What's back there? Hey, no. hey, hey, wine cellar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Bo. Bo, Bo, you got to see this. This is really weird. Stay out of there. Bo? Girl, what's going on? Hey, Bo, 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 Hey, it's a friend of the spiders. Huh? Not afraid of the spiders. 
five. <laughs> no! No! Oh. No! Oh, you didn't fight! No, you didn't fight! You didn't fight! Well, go ahead and touch one, man. No! No! I'm not afraid of it, girl. Hey, he is afraid of it. I'm not afraid of it. He's gonna wet these pants. <laughs> I'm afraid of it. Watch him wet these pants. <laughs> Forget it. Let's just get out of here. always got to be proven something, I guess. They didn't have to kill. I'm sure there was some way I could pay them back. What do you think will happen now? They'll brag about killing your spotters and make fun of you. Just forget about it. I just wish there was... wish I could think of some way to make them leave me alone. Talking to them won't do any good. Besides, they'll all be at the drive-in getting drunk. I know. Come on, Susan. There's nothing we can do about it now. I guess not. Okay, okay. Hey. Come on. Here, I got it. Here, honey. Uh, we'll share this. Okay? Okay. Can I share it? I'm going to share it with you. Okay, we'll share it with you. It's be a great pick, you know? I don't know. I'm, uh, you are pretty cute. What's Thank you. Come on. Can I share it with you? Okay. Uh, just Why don't you move over here so they can see this? Uh, yeah, I'll move over just a okay. little bit, please. Wait a minute. Oh, that's better. Good. That's good. good. Come over here. That's better over here, you know. <laughs> <laughs>
is it? This isn't a motel. Oh, my God. Let's talk to you later, Chief. What the hell with that? Dr. Ted. You just bring her around. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. And I say you stay away from her. Look, I'm sorry. I just don't know what happened. Maybe they freaked out. They didn't freak out. Wouldn't find anything. No drug, no nothing. But she can't help you now. You've got to realize that she needs rest. Please. Joan. Joan, can you hear me? Everyone is. It 
has hit this town pretty hard. How could it happen? That's the hell of it. I just don't know. Anything like this end? You know, this town's pretty frightening. What are you doing? Just swinging. It was so hot and stuffy in there. Would you like to take a walk with me? No. I just want to sit and listen to the quiet. Are you all right? Sorry about your friends. Erica, girl, Tracy. Thank you. Susan. Good night, Susan. Better go in. It's getting cool. Eric. Eric. I brought you a present. Someone to keep you company. Forever. Treat him more gently this time. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. Call for Dr. Newman. Dr. Parsons. Dr. Newman. Dr. Parsons. 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 I, I think it's better to give comfort to the living. Well, I, I'm really not sure she's ready to have visitors yet. Well, the doctor said it was all right. Well, keep it short. I, I never wanted to hurt you. They made me do it. To do it. Believe me, I didn't want to hurt you. Please forgive me. Forgive you for what, Susan? Forgive you for what? Nothing. You're lying. I am sorry about Joan and Tracy. Don't want even a friend of hers. That's just it. And she was acting as if she knew all about what happened. What'd she say? She was telling Joan she was sorry. For what? That's what you've got to find out. She figured she had something to do with it, huh? I know she did. I know it.
Susan. I'll take care of her myself. After what's happened at all, I I want to apologize for what we did the other night. Hey. Um, look, I'm no angel. I never have been. I never intended to be. I I didn't want to say that I like you, and and I am sorry. Thank you, Bill. What's on your agenda tonight? Nothing. Why? Well, why don't we two get together and, uh, you know, we can talk or something. Okay? Okay? Beautiful. Hey, I got a surprise for you. I told you I had a surprise for you. Please take me home. Hey, what's the matter? It's supposed to be a good movie. I don't like drive-ins. I... We got the best spot in the house, huh? Please take me home, please. Hey, we just got here. Huh? Hey, what's the matter? I won't bite. Come on. Why'd you bring me here? I told you it's supposed to be a good film. No, I mean here. Hey, what's the matter? Are you superstitious or something? I just want to be alone with you. Is that the only reason? What other reason would I have? All right, we'll just talk. About what? I don't know. I'll think of something. Sit and enjoy. You like mysteries? Huh? You know what the uh, detective tracks down the clever killer? Not really. No, I don't. What do you like, then? You really want to know? <laughs> hey, I wouldn't ask if I didn't want to know. Well, I like fun pictures, you know. Like comedies and musicals and 
happy ending. That's right. You know, everything just seems so unhappy now. Everything is so down. Terrible things are happening. That's why I like happy endings. I like everything fresh and alive. How are my friends killed? What? How are my friends killed? I don't understand. I had some friends of mine who saw you out here the night that Tracy and Eric got it. That's a lie. Who told you those lies? Tell me. You told me you were sorry. What are you trying to prove? Why are you doing this to me? That Jill had something to do with it. Please, it's coming back here. I'll find out. I'll find out that I'm going to get you. Trying to close in on me. They all want to close in on me. They want to take me away from you. And if they do that, there won't be anyone to take care of you. Don't you understand? You can't survive without me. Yeah, you were right, Nancy. Yeah. Well, she must have had something to do with it. No, I didn't, but I'm gonna keep after her till I do. You can bet on that. Yeah. Right after work tomorrow. For sure. First floor is the only thing you got to worry about. Just got to make sure those joints won't leak. Well, if they put it in before they put the insulation in, we wouldn't be up here doing this. Well, you just got to be thankful that this is the only place that's had any trouble, that's all. What a way to spend a Saturday. I don't like it either, but that inspector is going to be here first thing Monday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I do it myself, but I can't get into those places. <laughs> get up one of those ducks, I'd have to give them up my Sunday and come down here and cut you out of the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go over to Henderson's job. I'll be back in a couple of hours. All right.
Or someone left for you at the desk. There. Come on, don't you want to get out of bed? It'll make you feel better. Get up and walking around. You'll be going home in a couple days. There. You look a lot better. Don't you feel better? Get out of that nightgown and throw on your clothes. Be good to get home on it. Yeah. Just a second. concern is for my patient. Now, look, Morgan, you have coddled that girl. You prevented me from talking to her. Now, get off that and find a way for her to talk. She's over the edge for good. It's chocolate. Report to admission. Maybe you better talk to Nurse Hamilton. Yeah, maybe I'd better. She's quiet now. What happened? She was doing fine, walking around, seeing things. What was she doing? Well, she was walking around, and, and we walked over to the window. She saw the flowers, and well, she saw the flowers and just went to pieces. Are you trying to tell me that she flipped out over some flowers? Now, it had to be something else. 
Well, after I got her back in bed, I went and looked at the flowers. And it's just a harmless garden spider, so I thought... Spider? Well, just a garden spider, and I didn't want it in the room, so I killed it. Spider. Favorite girl. Okay, I guess. Hop in, I'll be. Here. Too bad about Bo Richards. You know, it's strange the way Bo died. All wedged in there, like the devil was after. I take it he wasn't one of your old time favorite guys. He didn't like me, I didn't like him. Is that why he was screaming at you in the drive -in? Where'd you hear that? Just a cop doing my job. So he was a creep. He was dirt. Remember, Susan, you're my favorite girl. I want to see you unhappy. I suppose nothing has turned up about Bo. Not a clue. Oh, thank you. I mean, could he have been scared to death? He backs in there. Something frightens him. He panics. Maybe he suffocates. Susan, what do you think could have caused it? I have no idea. Well, it's just a thought. Snake. Spider. They like dark places, don't they, Susan? I believe so. Well, it's a bright side to the story. The girl that was in shock in the hospital, well, she's feeling better. <laughs> and she'll be able to tell us exactly what happened in that drive-in. <sighs> that was a fine dinner, Susan. You make a fine wife of someone. She will indeed. Are you still seeing Joe Penny? Excuse me. I have some work to do. See you tomorrow, Susan. She's very upset about that boy's death. That's a shame. Serious charge, Nancy. I know she's your niece, but I know she killed Bo. Look, if this is true. It is true. I'll see that justice is carried out. Relative or no relative. But these wild charges are meaningless. Please listen to me. She killed him. What proof do you have? Hmm? Don't you see, everyone who was at the mortuary that night is dead. That's not proof. That's just a strange and tragic coincidence. You're wrong! The night before Bo died, he called me. What did he say? He was sure Susan had something to do with their deaths. Is that it? You don't 
believe me, do you? Look, my job is to find evidence. So far, you've given me nothing. You won't help me. I'll find someone who will. I'll do it myself. Nancy. Nancy. came to my office and she made very wild and strange accusations about you. About me? Mm -hmm. Well, what did she say? Nancy said that you were responsible for Bo's death. Did I? Mm -hmm. And for the kids in the drive. Do you believe that? Susan, it's not what I think. I mean, the girl's hysterical. She can do a lot of damage in this town. And there's certain evidence that uh, points directly to you. What are you going to do now? I can't protect you. I can calm her down. I can convince the town people that she's wrong. But I need your cooperation. Family. You're so lovely. No one will hurt you. No. We have to look out for each other. No, please, no. I'll take care of everything. Everything will be just Nancy. What are you doing here? You lied to me. I saw you through the window. Nancy. Just wait a minute. Let's be reasonable. She's crazy. She killed him, and you're protecting her. Do you know what that kind of talk can do to me? 
Right to my career. I mean, do you? I've worked too hard. I've worked too hard. To let anyone. R.C. was out hunting. Found her lying here. Oh, Lord. Did you find anything helpful? Nothing. Well, I guess I have to break the news to Mrs. Drury. I want an autopsy report as soon as possible. Is that all? It's better than nothing. At least we know that she wasn't sexually assaulted. Look, I know it ain't much to go on, but it ain't much. It's down to zero. You did a fine job, Dad. She looks so peaceful. Once I get all the air out of her coffin, and she's hermetically sealed. She'll look this lovely for years. You better get 
going? I should be back by 11. You know, those campaign meetings last forever. I'll try and have a good time, okay? doing in my room? Get out. Don't talk about your future and mine. Our future. What do you mean? I know how it feels. We're even closer now. What are you talking about? Listen, it's all right. Everything will be just fine. I've taken care of everything. What are you talking about? Listen, it's all right. Everything will be just fine. I've taken care of everything. You've taken care of what? Please, 
So sad. So sad. I'm your uncle, so sad. Oh, 
Hi, Dad. Good night. Sleep well. 